we will learn how to determine whether the goods are complementary or competitive the question is consider the demand function of two goods x1 and x2 respectively as demand for good x1 is being given as is p1 raised power minus 0.7 times uh, p2 raised power 0.2 and demand for good 2 is being denoted by that is x2 is equal to p1 raised power 0.6 times p2 raised power minus 0.4 where p1 and p2 are the price of good x1 and x2 respectively determine whether the goods are complementary or competitive okay so what exactly is meant by complementary goods we say uh, two goods are said to be complementary when they are used together or we can say when they are demanded jointly like we have ink and pen you know ink and pen okay i have this pen and with this pen uh, uh, ink bottle also comes so we can say these are the complementary goods like we have car and petrol car and petrol okay they are demanded jointly or used together so these are the complementary goods what about competitive good competitive goods are we call substitute goods substitute goods okay by substitute what we mean two goods are said to be competitive or substitute goods when one good can be used in place of other good okay that is like we have the tea tea and coffee okay there are many examples like we have um, let us say coke and pepsi coke and pepsi okay tu nahi to koi aur se hi so we are being given here these two demand functions and we need to find out whether these two goods are competitive or complementary to find out whether they are competitive or complementary we need to check the cross price elasticity of demand okay so we need to find out the cross cross price elasticity of demand if cross price elasticity of demand comes out to be positive we say the goods are you know uh, what we call the substitutes if uh, cross price elasticity of demand comes out to be negative we say the goods are x1 and x2 are what we call them the complementary by substitutes would mean we mean the competitive okay now let us uh, find out the cross price elasticity of demand that is let us find out the cross price elasticity of demand let's denote it by c okay so cross price elasticity of demand for good x1 that is it is being given by the change in the demand of good x1 due to the change in the price of good x2 uh, okay uh, let me denote it by p2 times price of good 2 divided by good 1 okay so cross go sorry cross price elasticity of demand shows us the responsiveness of change in the demand of good x1 due to the change in the price of good x2 okay now we need to check this out first we need to find out the dx1 upon dp2 that means we partially differentiate this demand function with respect to p2 okay so let us in fact show it here partial derivatives okay we have to use the partials here so let us find a partial derivative of good Uh, you know partial derivative of this fu demand function with respect to p2 okay so the exponent of p2 will become coefficient we have 0.2 p1 raised power minus 0.7 and p2 uh, its exponent is subtracted by 1 it will become minus 0.0.2 um, minus 1 is 0.8 okay so this is then what is the uh, cross price elasticity of demand that is dx1 upon dp2 times uh, p2 divided by x1 okay so dx1 upon dp2 came out to be 0.2 p2 
p1 raised power minus 0 0.7 times p2 raised power minus 0 0.8 times we have p2 divided by what is x1 x1 is the given function that is um, p1 raised power minus 0 0.7 times p2 raised power 0 0.2 okay here you can see p1 and this p1 gets cancelled okay if i transpose <coughs> this p2 here so we will get we will get a 0 0.2 then we have p2 raised power minus 0 0.8 okay then we have p2 again if i transpose this p2 it will be get multiplied but its exponent sign will change it will become uh, minus 0 0.2 and here you can see it becomes 0 0.2 bases are same we can add up the exponent so we have p2 and the exponent of p2 in the first uh, and then this uh, p2 is here minus 0 0.8 here the exponent is 1 then we have minus 0 0.2 so we will get uh, 0 0.2 times p raised power uh, point minus 0 0.8 minus 0 0.2 it comes out to be minus 1 plus 1 so we get uh, 0 0.2 p raised power 0 so anything raised power 0 is equal to 1 so we get 0 0.2 times 1 which comes out to be 0 0.2 and here you can see cross price elasticity of demand came out to be positive we can say that x1 and x2 are <coughs> you know uh, competitive goods and you can check uh, same for this good that is cross price elasticity of demand for good x2 if you want to find out so cross price elasticity of good x2 will be equal to the change in the demand for good x due to the change in the price of good 1 times p1 upon p2 okay when you calculate it will also come out to be positive okay you can check this out <coughs> by yourself so in this case we can say since the cross price elasticity of demand value came out to be positive the two goods are competitive uh, goods okay or they are the substitutes of each other i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you